One of the things that makes Smartsheet so smart, frankly, about collaboration and assigning tasks is the fact that they have a column type specifically for this purpose. Obviously, they've thought this through as far as managing projects and what one might need to do. As you'll see in this lesson, there's a specific drop-down type called a contact list, which you can name however you like, but most of the time we're probably going to want to call that column assigned to and then designate its type as the contact list type, which means you'll have access through a dropdown specifically to those people who have been added as collaborators in that project or workspace. Collaboration in Smartsheet. I think you're going to find, certainly by the time you finish watching this video, that it is extremely easy to collaborate. You've already gotten a little bit of a look into what this all looks like. I showed you a bit of it in the mobile app. You saw kind of the folder structure and how there are folders and then workspaces and so on. Uh, prior to that, you saw me create the uh, sheet that I called What is Smart Sheet? And as you can see here by what you're currently seeing on screen, I had created this in a workspace for schoolofbookkeeping.com where we have some other schoolofbookkeeping.com related projects. But let's say I really want this to be part of the uh, Smartsheet custom course development projects, uh, which is down here. It's as simple as clicking and dragging to move this down. And you're, you'll see when I let go of the mouse that I'm going to get this warning. It says the sharing permissions of the sheets will be replaced with those of the workspace that you wish to continue. In other words, the people it may have been shared with originally, are, it's no longer going to be shared with, but it will then be shared with whoever is set up as uh, a collaborator in this Smartsheet CCD workspace. So if I click OK, it confirms that I'm OK with that. And then I can come over here and find it in the Smartsheet CCD workspace. And now it gives me a count of how many sheets are at that level. So I've got three at the root, six in my samples folder that's within that, and one in my templates folder that's within that. So the numbers here that you see next to each, each workspace or folder indicates how many sheets you'll find at that exact level. In other words, this three obviously isn't a total of what's in the samples and the templates, or if you couldn't figure that out, you probably shouldn't be a, an accountant or a bookkeeper. Um, kidding, of course. So uh, that's how easy it is to move something around. Now, what about the sharing? Well, I'm going to give you a very direct example. So down here, I can click sharing, and mind you, and notice that this was open the whole time, and it's seamless. I moved it, didn't matter here. The sheet's still the sheet, and it's still here. But now if I click on sharing, I get a very different view. And you'll see that I've got my cohorts at School of Bookkeeping as well as my friends who work over there at Smartsheet. So that's how the sharing works. Now if I want to add somebody, let's say I want to add this to my schoolofbookkeeping.com Smartsheet account because what we're looking at here is actually my Nerd Enterprises Smartsheet account. So I'm, it's as simple as entering the email address. And in this case it remembers me from uh, previous sharing. But uh, if it doesn't, obviously you'll just type in or copy and paste the person's email. You can check off their options, decide what level of access they have. Notice the information uh, the help bubble here where it explains that uh, even in, at the admin level, they can modify the column layout, which can't be done at any other level, but a user must be a paid user to have the full admin privileges. So you, your users can do most of what you need them to do, if not all of what you need them to do in many cases when you're sharing with them without having to make them a full admin and for that matter, paid user. Uh, so choose your options carefully. Decide if you want the editors to be able to share with others. Uh, also decide if you want the email to have a link that will take them directly into the workspace. I certainly always do that. It's handy to be able to link directly into the workspace. And over here, of course, you can type a message and say, you're in. And I'll click share. And you can also check off where it said CC me uh, so that uh, you can get a copy of the email. Now, let's go over to my uh, schoolofbookkeeping.com email, and we should get an email confirmation indicating that I've had this space shared with me. Let's check our email. And there it is, Seth David via Smartsheet. Let's click on that, and click to open the workspace I've shared with you. So I click in, and it takes me right into Smartsheet. And here I am. So now I've got the Smartsheet CCD workspace shared in my schoolofbookkeeping.com Smartsheet account. So notice the difference though. Here I don't have all those other workspaces, right? And this is essentially what it's going to look like when you have kind of a bare bones, uh, you know, brand new Smartsheet account.
So this is a lot like what yours is going to look like. You'll start off with this general sheets folder. This can't be renamed. This is just sort of your root admin assigned folder. And you can certainly create folders within that. Simply right click and choose create new. The other way of course to create anything new is right up here where it says create new. So I can click here and from here I can create a new blank sheet, task list, project sheet. So those are some popular types of projects I can create. Or I can create a new folder or workspace or I can create reports. So very, very easy to uh, get things set up and get things going. And you already saw how easy it is to collaborate. And now if I go in here, and remember when we set this up originally, we wanted to be able to assign it to. And notice it says here as I go in, Seth David, which is the Nerd Enterprises version of me, is now viewing the sheet. So it lets you know when somebody else is in the same sheet. But notice now there's going to be two of me, whereas earlier there's only one. So I can assign it to me at School of Bookkeeping, or I can assign it to me as the Nerd Enterprises person. And notice I can also add a new person right from within here. If I realize, oh, I haven't got the person I need to share it within here, just click Add New, and all I have to do is add in a name and an email address, and they'll get an email notification letting them know that this has been shared with them. It's that simple. And that, my friends, is how you can collaborate in Smartsheet and how you can assign a task to somebody. And for those of you who may have skipped over too quickly and not seen it, the way that we created this assigned to column is when you create a new column in Smartsheet, you can double click it here and make the edits. But here's a perfect example of where the permissions come into play. I'm in here on the Smartsheet side and I don't have admin privileges. So let's change that. Let's go back over to my Nerd Enterprises version of it. Let's go to sharing. And let's find me as the, nerd, uh, as the uh, School of Bookkeeping guy. Notice here I'm an editor. So we want to change that. We want to change my level of permissions, which means I need to go out to the home area, go into sharing from here, and then find me at School of Bookkeeping, change permissions, and let's make me an admin and click OK. Then when you make a change like that, I go back to the other side on the School of Bookkeeping side. Let's refresh and we'll say reload this page to make sure that those updated settings are recognized by the browser. And then if I double click this, I can now change the column properties and for that matter, I can change what it's named. So we set this up as, we named it assigned to, and we set this up as a contact list type. So uh, giving you the benefit of the doubt here that you did watch the earlier videos, but in case you didn't see that, that's how you assign a task to somebody, is you create a column with the, uh, with the contact list column type, and then of course you can access the list of users who, are, who have this workspace shared with them already. And that, my friends, is how it's done. As always, if you have any questions, please ask them in the uh, private form if you're a registered student at schoolofbookkeeping.com. Otherwise, please feel free to take advantage of our public forums, such as accountants, bookkeepers, and business owners, right on Facebook. As always, I hope you've gotten something out of this lesson. I hope you get something out of every lesson I ever teach. And I look forward to seeing you on the web. Now I've laid the foundation for you for everything you need to know to get into a real specific use case. We've looked at how to set up a project and all the different types of columns, the things we can describe about a project or a task within a project, and how to do the most basic thing in terms of project management, which is adding the collaborators and assigning tasks to them. At this point, I feel you're ready to move on to a specific use case. We're going to take a look at how to manage a bookkeeping engagement in Smartsheet. Thank you.